Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So I'm going to do a video about Hyperplay, or at least attempt to do a video about Hyperplay. Um, Hyperplay is uh, a new sort of game store that's launched, but it's more, it's a, it's, a, it's a store in the sense that it can be its own store. It's also an aggregator in the sense that it also supports some other stores. Um, very early days, um, it's just gone live um, really today, I think. Um, so so it's a bit sort of clunky, which we'll get onto when I actually go onto the uh, the uh, sort of app itself. This is just the website. So so one of the ideas here is that in terms of like blockchain games, clearly Steam at the moment is not supporting games with um, NFTs. Um, there are some options out there. So there's a few things like, you know, the Abyss has been around for a while. There's Ultra coming out um, in various stages. Um, there's actually quite a lot of other you know, sort of smaller sort of game launcher stores um, all trying to sort of find their own way. There's like Flame and um, Elixir and a bunch of others as well. So, so I guess Hyperplay so, sort of sits in that sort of sector. Um, one of the interesting bits around it is... Um, one of the people who's involved is uh, used to work at MetaMask, so there's a strong sort of MetaMask sort of uh, flow in terms of sort of wallet onboarding. And there's also this thing called Heroic, which is a, a sort of similar sort of game store thing, but not not so much Web three. So there's, so there's a, a bunch of stuff going on. Um, so this is just the um, the uh, website, so we can see. You know, <laughs> the the point of this is being about blockchain. So so there are some, um, you know, the, the games here are blockchain based games. I have to admit, I haven't heard of um, a lot of them to be honest. DeFi Kingdoms, heard of? Um, that's a sort of browser based game um, at this stage. Phantom Galaxies, that's well known, um, owned by Animoca. Um, the Beacon, the Bornless, obviously Sandbox. Um, the Wake, I've heard of um, a few of these other ones as well, but at the moment, I guess one of the you know, sort of sort of issues here is that there are some you know fairly um, high-profile blockchain games on the PC, but they're sort of doing their own thing. I guess something like um, you know Big Time would be an example. Blanco's um, got their own sort of infrastructure there. Um, I guess over time we'll, we'll see a whole bunch of. You know, general sort of sort of games going out there and it's kind of hard to have your own launcher and that's expensive so so at some point you kind of think web3 native stores will be a thing uh, but at the moment it's still a little bit early so anyway this is this is what's going on here um to FAQ so what's going on here what is hyperplay it is a web3 native launcher um and aggregator so at the moment it supports epic store um and gog um i've had problems trying to connect it to Epic Store. I think that's just because it's sort of early stage at the moment. Um, I've not managed to do that. Um, obviously, Epic Store is something that is has sort of openly been supporting blockchain games. So we've got Blanco's um, through there. There's Superior from Gala Games. Um, there's Grip from Gala Games is coming out through that. There's, there's a sort of bunch it's starting to get a bit of momentum. Um, but basically, Epic Store is is allowing people who have blockchain games to, to launch through there, which is Valve, isn't doing through Steam. Um, a bit of background, so there's this thing called Game7, which is a, um, a very well financed DAO um, from, uh, yeah, it's, it's supposedly got like $500 million, but that's actually over a long period of time, so, so it actually doesn't really have that to deploy, but, but they're sort of, um, they've been around for a, a year, and this is sort of their first big project. So there is some money behind it, quite how much, we'll see. No token at the moment, but we'll see. It's open source, that's sort of blockchain. Um, games listed through um, Epic Store and, and GOG should automatically be available. Um, so in, in that sense, you know, I guess there is this sort of issue. Why, if you can already get the game through Epic Store, why would you want to do it through Hyperplay? Um, let's say Hyperplay has some, is going to do some sort of in inbuilt, not inbuilt wallet, actually at all, but have some connected wallet stuff which might make it easier, but those games will, blockchain games would have that anyway, I think. So 
I'm not quite sure what advantage that gives at the moment. We'll see. Um, so there's some uh, native games and browser games. As I said, like, you know, uh, um, DeFi Kingdoms is a browser game, but they're saying they're going to make it a better experience in doing that. Um, very MetaMask focused because, as I said, one of the founders is from MetaMask, but also does Wallet Connect. Uh, I'm not going to go through all this sort of stuff. Um, so very EVM, very Ethereum focused, which is sort of what MetaMask and Consensus do. Um, but they say they will support Solana and Cosmos um, through MetaMask, <laughs> MetaMask system. Um, so, yeah, and there's this thing about this heroic games launcher, which is um, uh, which is sort of connected to, to, to what they're doing at the moment. Um, so let's uh, move on, actually have a look at what's going on. Okay, so now we're running the actual uh, game launcher uh, client. So this is uh, running on a PC. So it sort of looks the same. <laughs> the interface looks sort of the same as the website, I suppose, because um, it's obviously the same games. It's the same sort of database that it's, it's connecting to. Um, we can see a bit more of what's going on down the side here. So we can see um, I've got a connected MetaMask wallet. I've actually just actually created a new MetaMask wallet, so this, <laughs> that's not so... Um, it wasn't, that wasn't, didn't work out very well. Actually, I was trying to connect um, with, I was trying to connect a existing MetaMask wallet through QR code. It, for some reason, it didn't want to work. Um, but obviously, the point is that this is, you know, um, you you look after your own keys. You know, you have your say you have NFTs for Phantom Galaxies. You have that in your MetaMask wallet. You're not embedding it within within here. Um, they actually say for. Security reasons, you bet you you probably don't want to do it this way. You want to do it through um, mobile. Uh, so either you sort you sort of wallet connect or have a MetaMask mobile wallet. So you're not um, your keys are not on the same um, PC as as the as the games you're playing. Because that obviously gives you levels of security. If the if you download something bad onto the PC that you're playing the games on, um, that could corrupt your wallet. If you've got your wallet on a mobile, then then. Um, you're not going to be um, affected in that way. Um, as I said, I've not I've not managed to. I don't have a. I don't use Gog, so I don't have a Gog account. But um, his is just the user interface here. I mean, I don't really know what their attitude is to um, Web three games, but these are you know, none of these Web three games. Um, Epic Store. I've not been able to log in at all. Um, I've just been getting some some errors on that, but, uh, and it doesn't want to verify. I don't quite know why. Maybe we need my VPN or something. Um, but we can do this sort of thing. We can sort of uh, Phantom Galaxy is a pretty big game owned by Animoca Brands. It's this big sort of mecha kind of um, space uh, combat game. Um, so we could add that to the library. I don't quite know what that's going to do. Um, <laughs> we come back out here. I've not got anything in here, so I could. Um, Oh, no, so, so there actually we have Phantom Galaxy is there, is there so so actually this is going to start downloading that, which is sort of useful because I think previously I have played the demo version of Phantom Galaxies and you have to do it by downloading the the uh, sort of PC executable itself from Phantom Galaxies. So so you know the whole point of these sort of stores is aside from monetization and, and, and payments and all that sort of stuff, you just have one place where all your games are. So from that point of view, um, let's hope <laughs> let's hope it's working. Um, is there any other any other games I want to put in here? Let's have a look. Um, uh, 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 the Bornless looks a bit scary for me. Um, Smashverse. What's the beacon? Okay. In development, so I don't think, I'm not sure they've got much playable. Are they? Oh, they've got a single player PVE. Okay, so let's add that one as well. So now um, I've got two games in there. I'm probably going to have to download that. 18 gigs, maybe I'll leave that for the time being. Um, but maybe with this one here, what's going to happen? Okay, so it's sort of launched this sort of separate window and So this is sort of interesting, it says sort of connect wallet, so um, is it going to connect to my MetaMask here, unsupported network, I'm not quite, <laughs> not quite sure why I'm not on the Ethereum mainnet for that. Because um, it's showing, oh, because they're on, um, 
they're all arbitral, arbitrage, aren't they? Arbitral, aren't they? So I probably have to go in. I wonder if this is going to work. So I have to go in here and I have to add a network and go into the website. So, I mean, you sort of. Let's have it all up. So I guess you sort of get a sense of what hyperplay is trying to the sort of the problems that hyperplay is trying to deal with which is that sort of stuff um, but until you've set up everything until you know <laughs> until you've set up your metamask to have all these other um evm compatible blockchains in there um then then <laughs> again sort of recreating your problems um so you know i think that that is, you know, my sort of thinking around this sort of stuff is it's, it's really useful if they can do clever stuff around making it all work. But if it's just something else where you have to sort of fiddle around making everything compatible and working out how to log into Epic Store and, <laughs> you know, how many people have Epic Store and GOG libraries that they want to be playing outside of those stores and how many games are going to be live on Hyperplay rather than Epic Store, considering you can do Epic Store, you know, Considering you can do blockchain games through Epic Store, <laughs> um, there may be some great advantages by doing stuff through Hyperplay. Um, but at the moment, there's not because it's just launched, and you know the reason people care about marketplaces and um, you know storefronts is that they have you know millions of users. So um, that's sort of where we are with this with a lot of this sort of stuff. It's very sort of, very much sort of chicken and egg. Um, so you know. We, we will see what happens, I guess. You know, the one advantage is it said it's not doing a token, but it might do a token <laughs> at some point. And as we've seen with things like the um, the Blur Marketplace, as soon as you have a token, then and you say you earn 10 tokens for downloading a game, then everyone's suddenly downloading the game through Hyperplay rather than Epic Store or, or GOG because they're being incentivized to do it. So, um, you know, that'll be that'll be the what happens in the sort of medium term, I guess. Um, but, but otherwise we will uh, see, we'll sort of tinker around. I think they've got some probably stuff to deal with um, in terms of logging into Epic. I, I don't quite know why I can't log into my Epic account through here. Um, but uh, anyway, it's, it's sort of good to see this stuff is happening. Lots of different approaches. I mean, I think it's definitely worth checking out what Ultra are doing. Um, they're doing a, a bit more of a all singing, all dancing sort of blockchain and, and, and um, um, running everything themselves, which is taking them a lot longer. But um, you know, there's no there's no all size fits all at the moment because because um, we don't know who, who's gonna who's gonna be the uh, the best option for most people. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. Um, see you again soon.